Hey guys, it's another Georgia Key Production. Um, tonight we're going to do a little video on what you can accomplish in a day, squirrel hunting and bird hunting, if you put your mind to it. Alright, let's so go ahead and get started. This was the first squirrel of the day. I shot him at about 7.15 this morning. Right behind the ear, quick kill, um, had no paint at all. That's why his eyes bulge out. But that's what you deal with sometimes when you're hunting. You just gotta face the facts and that's what you're gonna get sometimes. Um, as you can see, I've already cut the tail off of this one because this was the first kill of the day and I didn't want to let him sit all day. So I went and cut the tail off of him and it's sitting somewhere right now, which I will add to my collection later. Alright, so about 30 minutes later I was outside and this blue jay flew right in front of me. And then he had no clue I was there. I was up under a tree and another gun um, of a Benjamin Trail in piece, since that's what I'm shooting, as you all know. Um, took him out with a nice clean chest shot. I know you can't see any wounds, but I shot him through the back right into the chest and killed him instantly while severing his spine. Now, that's my dog. He's new to the family. His name is Gage. You will be seeing him in many videos since he is now my hunting buddy. Training him to be a shed dog, which means he is going to go out and hunt sheds for us. And I'm going to try to train him to be my squirrel dog, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that done. Also a shed dog. So he's having fun with the flashlight right now. So get back to the video. All right, going on to the third, the second squirrel of the day. Um, this is a young male. No, this is a female. She's pretty old. Um, took her out with a nice clean chest shot from the other side, but I have a camera and a flashlight, so I can't flip her over to show you. Um, I've not cut the tail for this one because I shot him, shot her at a, around lunchtime. So I just left on um, the tail on her and just said I'll cut it off later. All right, then we go on to the two birds, other two birds. This is a nice um, tip mouse. I shot him through the chest. Um, I hit him on the wings. I'll shoot straight up, free-handed. Hit him in the wing, fell down, and I gave him a nice quick kill, and he hardly felt any pain. Going on to the third bird, this is a nice little chickadee. Um, shooting him with that Benjamin Trail NP 22 caliber did a lot of damage to him. So this little guy went down quick and clean, no pain at all. Alright, going on to the third squirrel. This is a young male. Oh, I'm not that big in size. Um, I noticed that his tail, can't really see it, but his tail, oh, there you go. His tail has been cut by either battle battling another squirrel for mate or territory or something or he was just born with it or whatever the reason but I thought that was pretty cool the only other squirrel I've shot like that is he, it stopped about right there and that's all the tail you had left so that was really cool I was glad when I shot him but shot him right there right behind the head so this is a quick instant kill for him just hopped around just from the reflexes alright now there are three squirrels here I shot four squirrels. Now you're going, how in the heck did you shoot four squirrels, but three squirrels were here. I shot one with a mill dot holdover from about 50 yards. Now, I'd never done that before. It was my first time doing it. So I was a little hesitant. I just propped up in a nice V tree I love shooting from. And I shot one mill dot holdover and hit them. I, 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 I hit them a little back for, um, farther than I wanted to. But I did find him, and he did go in a hole, and I tried and tried to get him out. I got the four-wheeler and a strap and tried to pull the um, log. Just wouldn't move, so that squirrel just would have to go and die. And I know some of y'all are probably cussing me out right now because y'all think I'm a non-ethical hunter. But I took him right over the head, but he moved as soon as I shot. Hit him back a little bit because he was foraging around on the ground. I just hit him back a little too far. Um, but I did not eat these squirrels because it's like 30 degrees out here and they froze stiff in like 10 minutes. I didn't have enough time to clean them or anything. So these are just going to have to not be eaten. This one's a little too small anyway. That one has like no meat on. But the middle one would have been pretty good. But we just couldn't from the time limit we have. That dog's down there messing with the swings. All right, guys. Um, that's it. That's it for this video. Um, I look forward to making more videos for you, and um, hopefully you will see our new dog Gage in them. So we'll see you next time.